Cheers, folks. It is I, Cat, back with more delight. Things for you to enjoy listening to. Well, let me tell you something. I got a um, little tipsy last night. I got a movie, and I think that's the trouble with movies. When you watch movies, when you watch movies, you have to sit down and watch the movie. And then when you watch the movie, you like to have a beverage. <laughs> At least I do. So here, I'm going through more of my stuff. I've been going through tons and tons of my, of my things. I've been cleaning out. Um, that's it's, it's all part of where I am with my process of using the Shakti Cluster app, the Mahavidyas and the Diamond Sky Dakinis have different properties. One of them gives you um, liberation through uh, desire, and the other one is, well, it's actually it combines des des desire and liberational powers because the um, Mahavidyas, they, there's ten of them, ten, and they, their domain is desire. What is your heart's desire? What is it that you long for in your life? Start using your imagination. Because if you're not exercising what your heart's desire is, it's more than likely there is not the manifestation of joy that you would like to have in your life. There will just not be as many magical occurrences. So let me give an example of a really small thing. Um, and I'll show you, too. Well, I'm not going to. I'll just describe it. You know how they have crystals and things? And you hang them from your... Um, I'm wearing my old shirt you saw. It's got a hole in it. <laughs> um, crystals. You hang them in the window. And the light hits them and they make pretty rainbows. So... I needed a fishing lure line to hang a crystal that I found that had become separated from its fishing line. And the fishing line was nowhere to be found. So I had started to use this. These are all the words and stuff, but here's the beautiful Shakti cluster, which is an app. It's a handheld app, and you you don't touch it with your fingers. You touch it with your intention and with your mind. And I'm a student of John Lim Lash, and you can get all of this stuff yourself if you go to his website, metahistory.org. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put on my bra. That way I'm, I'm not so self-conscious, and I won't have such a difficult time speaking to you because I'm wearing an old t-shirt, I'm cleaning my house, I'm going through everything, and this is what I was going to with it, is that I ended up finding a fishing line walking two days ago. <laughs> and it was like, thank you, thank you, more please, thank you. Yes, I'll take more, I'll take more of that goodness, I'll take, I'll take more of that wonderful, luscious abundance from mother. So like, she's the best mother ever, you wanna know why? She doesn't love you conditionally. She loves you unconditionally. And she wants you to command her. And that's what the, the, the she, she wants you to command her so much. She's got like, um, fifth, uh, what is it? 15 command cycles. No, no, yeah. Yeah. 15 different command cycles, even though she's got 16 channels, because one of them doesn't have, um, one of the, you've learned this. I, I'm just, just getting it. What I'm going to be doing is regurgitating everything that I've learned in a succinct way with links to go to the places where I got the information originally so that you don't have to take that four-hour course. You can take that 20-minute video. Ah, isn't this true? Isn't it? I don't have any music playing right now, though. Do you see those little things dropping every now and then? I've got little balls of light that kind of trapeze their way through my life. 
I used to have a big orb. It would uh, be around at my shop when I was living in Virginia and having all that hardship with my partner, partner at the time. Um, because I didn't know what he was. And it was my PhD in narcissism. And I passed with flying colors because I was laying on mother. And I was relaxing on the ground. And I was connecting my heart to the earth's heartbeat, which I hear through my own imagination. But I also hear a pulse. <sighs> and sometimes it's higher and shrill. But a lot of times it's a very... Uh, and it's soothing. So the Shakti Cluster app, features of the Shakti Cluster app are that it is um, a feature. Okay, its first feature is that it has connectivity. This point right here is 16. And 16 is where you load. You bring yourself there and say, I am Rome. You recognize you are a child of the goddess. You recognize that you are forgotten people, that you come from a, a root. Like if you're American, you had you don't remember because you came and it was all about religious freedom or potato famines. It was always some sort of calamitous reason why. Or not. Like, some people came because they were rich, and they had plantations and things like that. And that you'd see in the South. But we came over in the Mayflower as indentured servants. My white blood. And I had a recollection of uh, the Glassbury, Glastonbury in the tour and Stonehenge. And I wanted to go to the ley line. So I had this big fascination with all the energy um, and the magic of uh, those old structures. But you can't touch them because you're not allowed. You know, a Rothschild, so you can't touch them. Those bastards touch them. Ugh. And then right here is, um, that's Gaia Sophia. That's her. That's the, that's the point of... Uh, Our mother. So you connect here, recognizing yourself as part of the Rome. And then the connectivity that you have every single time you connect there, you connect to everybody else that identifies. And the Shakti cluster app only works if you also know the narrative of Gaia, that you know that she came from the center and that she was fascinated and with her inventions and fell. And then the gravita gravitational force, um, or whatever it was, I don't know my science, but she plunged. She's the fallen wisdom goddess. There's a myth about her, the fallen wisdom goddess. Why do, why do you think stories are around? Oral history is the only one that's true. And we have to hide our jewels in there because that's why we all get killed. So that's what I was telling you. Americans don't remember unless they have awakening, which I've had awakening. And I'm coming up slowly. And every now and then I have grief and I cry about it. And I'm not going to tell you how to believe or how to think. But what I am going to tell you is that I remembered that I didn't come here on the planet to be really good at, at, at making a career in America and getting a job and making money and paying taxes and retiring and having a retirement plan. That's not why I came in. No, I came in. To live my soul's purpose, to live my light, to be my artistic expression, and to do it outside of the construct of society and to culture myself. Because a culture, a culture is like yoga for the individual. A culture um, it, it allows each individual to be itself, like you cultivate plants. Whereas a society, social order, you become so so of a person. And I didn't want to do that. So this right here has been my. Freedom. This is the memoirs operandi of collecting to the mood and memory and the interactivity and the entrainment of mommy. Which brings me to the, the other thing. It's interactive. Interactivity. It teaches you how to use it. So I've used it how to 
how to straighten up my my room, how to do more business, like what kind of editorial calendar what do I need or not need for my business? Do I just continue creating beauty? Do I go more hog wild with the newsletters, that sort of thing? And then everything's timing. So timing is the number one key thing in all things, including the term of Gaia Awakening, which is what we're in, and we're in the correction phase. We're in the terma, and the terma is a jewel, and the Shakti cluster came within that terma, and we're in the terma. So therefore, and we'll I'll describe that later. So connectivity, um, it's an earthing device as well. So it helps you plug into the telaric field of the planet. So you're not just using this, oh, I'm using this piece of paper with a Shakti cluster app on it, and I'm, I'm connected to here I am, I am Rome. This is where you load and conduce. And you're loading, here I am, I'm Rome. And then, oh, she fall, she fell, she's our mother. She's waking up. She's in, she was in a catatonic state. Then she moved into a... Uh, dreaming state where she was lucidly dreaming. Have you ever been into those, dream, those, those dreams where you wake up and you realize you're dreaming and then you manipulate your dream? That's lucid dreaming. That's what she's doing. So if you've never done that, then something's not right with your sleeping habits. But when you wake up in a dream, what you can do is you can look at your hands and you can say to yourself, before you go to bed, I intend to remember my dreams or to wake up in them. And then you look at your hands. But you can't drink too much alcohol and pass out. It won't work. So, um, the third thing that we talked about was interactivity. And you, 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 this will show you how to use it. If you continue to use it. Every point has a Mahavidya uh, or a Diamond Sky Dakini, a Dakini attached to it. We call them, I, I, I'll get back to it, Devatas. Oh, I initiated that. Devatas. And Devata is what you would call them to not have to differentiate because until you know which ten are the Mahavidyas and which ones are the Dakinis, it's going to take a little while to get the lingo, you know? So that's what we're doing. So um, because the Mahavidyas, are, their domain is desire, and that because the Dakinis, theirs is consciousness, uh, this, this app, this putting your attention here, and then going to Kula here to help you learn how to um, run it. Um, and the app itself runs itself. Okay? So I'll get through it. I'll get through them, and then I'll go over it again. Okay. So... Um, you command by looking at his spot, whichever one is, you're going to learn about them. You command, like if I were to just right now go in and here, da -da 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 -da, and then I go to Karakula, Karakula. She's so cool. She's like a magic witch. And she, she helps you learn magic. She helps you, um, learn how to use the app. So you can ask her that. Show me your magic. And the other one is Matangi. Matangi uh, is Matangi. And she is the overseer of the Planetary Vision Quest. So she's a Mahavidya. So she's going to help you keep to the narrative. So she's helping me stay to the narrative. So I can have my fate and eat it too. <laughs> That's what John said in one of his videos. It was so funny. It, it, and so, and then Karakula is this one. She's your Dakini. She's your Diamond Sky Dakini. There's Lucy in the sky with diamonds. <laughs> Lucy is a term we use for Gaia, Pam, planetary animal mother, all kinds of loving terms. So... Karakula 
enhances your skill. She's the magic mistress. And these two work together. So what you can do is you can load on here, plug and play, and then see your relationship to the narrative. How now that you know that you are a child of the goddess and that the false religions were implanted to confuse you, to move you away from nature and your natural state, of being able to govern and guide your life and to act independently from societal conformity, societal pressures to um, act a certain way or be a certain way or think a certain way, such as um, learning history a certain way, uh, learning art a certain way. All the certain ways you learn, they're not necessarily conducive towards your well-being. So that's what Montessori schools are and things like that. So um, the disaristic desire of the Mahavidya, which is the Matanji. Matanji, Matanji is like an awesome witch. And she's yet to be discovered by me. I think I'm going to dive into her more. I'm feeling like tantalized by her. And Kurukula, Kurukula's KU. R-U-K-U-L-L-A. I mean, how much fun is that? Kurakula. So you, be, um, you can kind of go in there, and then I go into Kurakula, and I command Kurakula to assist me with learning this Shakti cluster app. But I don't touch it with my fingers when I'm doing it. I'm doing it now to show them to you. Use your intention. Use your mind. Use your eyes. And your eyes and your intention. And... Uh, Liberation is what sets you free, frees you from programming, so I can wish for that, um, to have uh, that by way of um, the liberation of consciousness through the Dakini, and, and the Dakini is Karakula, the mistress of magic, you know, liberate me from the false ideas I have about myself, I command you. Kurukula. I am Rome. I command you to liberate me from these false ideas and limitations I have upon myself that I have kept from, that have, have been an accumulation from childhood. Liberate me from my limitations. Things like that. Frees you from programming. So, the other, uh, the fifth property. And you have to know these all nine of them. Nine is the goddess number. You have to know all nine of these properties to work the device properly. Otherwise, you know, the Shakti Cluster app, which is part of planetary tantra, which is all rolled into the package of the terma of Gaia awakening, because it's her story, not his. <laughs> the device is wired to the lunar cycles, the lunar cycles of the Earth, not the solar ones. So we have all this attention to the sun, the sun signs, the sun signs. The sun signs are so popular in horoscope, nobody even has the moon signs. We don't even have consciousness of that as a society. But as a cultured human being, you have probably had an astrologer um, do your chart. Well, that's all fine and dandy. Where I'm going with it here is that each month there's a new devata on shift, and it's going to be based on the moon and where it is in the sky related to constellations. And the constellations are frequencies that act upon us as human beings because everything is energy and moving in waves. So, on day five of each um, new Dakini shift, which comes with the first right-hand crescent moon, after a blank moon, or it's new, completely dark moon, that's when new seeds of life are sown. That's when you plant seeds. That's when you plant ideas. That's when a new Dakini comes on shift. And then you... That's the feature of number five. You're wired into the Telerik time cycles, which are the real time. And then the other, the sixth thing is that it amplifies perception. Your perception abilities, your taste, your hearing, your sight, your smell, and your intuition. And uh, if you look at the Shakti cluster app, you're going to see a pentacle here, even though it's, dis it's differently shaped. But it's the pentacle that's associated with the devil, wrongly so, 
in tarot and whatnot, only because um, it had to be hidden uh, that the devil is not um, what we think it is. And I'm not going to go into that subject right now because that's too much information to go down and through. And it would test you. So I'm going to let you figure that one out for yourself. But I am going to say that this configuration grounds. So it's a, it grounds to the earth when it's pointed downward. It's not evil. And you, when you, every time you log on, you're shining the jewel given to us by Pam, planetary animal mother's mom, mommy. And she is giving us the Chintamani jewel, the wish-fulfilling gem. You know, that Om Mani Padme Om. Om Mani Padme Om is the jewel, is in the lotus. Mani is jewel. Padme is lotus. This is all from John Lamb Lash. I'm just regurgitating it. And uh, he gets credit. I'll, I'll send you the link below. And I'm going to show the seventh and eighth feature. Um, because it contains the, basically, what feature number six is, is that, um, it has the ability to amplify your perception because it's the Chintamani jewel. The jewel. That's the jewel. Within the structure is the jewel. is the five-faceted jewel of wish-fulfilling jewel. Isn't that gorgeous? Seven. It activates paranormal faculties and teaches us how to use them. <laughs> and, uh, that activation can come through recognition and proprioception, which we'll go into later. And it has to do with Karakula's instruction of the blind man's cane. I'll put it to you this way. If you were a blind man, you would use your cane. You would, you would go back and forth. You would feel with your cane your way. So you're going to be activating your faculties with it. You will be... How you'll have to be vigilant and watch yourself. That's how you recognize when your paranormal affective faculties have been activated. Things like um, knowing something before it happens. Okay, the shape is an oval with an eclipse up there, right? Ecliptical. And it's very sensuous, isn't it? It's not a perfect circle. It's not a perfect circle at all. But it's like the Vesica Pisces. It's like the Yoni. It's like a vagina that's had sex. It's beautiful, open, and, and welcoming. It's how I gave birth to my daughter. It's how I received pleasure. It's delicious. And who wouldn't love it? It has a subliminal impact on our bodies, on our body knowledge. I mean, we, we think about that oval. It's different than when you see one. Yeah? I just see beauty, don't you? And the eighth feature, after we discussed, um, that is the eighth feature, is the shape. The shape <clears throat> has a subliminal impact, and it actually creates and induces a harmonic resonance throughout the entire body. It's a favorable neural, neural resonance. And take a look at that. Isn't that relaxing? I mean... That's such a relaxing shape, isn't it? I kind of like that you can't see the numbers. This is a copy I got off the internet. And this is my book that I'm putting together so that I can learn things. So I'm sort of doing my own thing here. And then teaching you. Okay, the nine features of the novelty of the Shakti Cluster is what I hinted on earlier. The design runs the field it displays. <laughs> the design runs the field. So you don't have to have it plugged into anything but your imagination. And when you load and conduce, you plug and play, baby. Game on. Game on. Because we're in the game of life. And the game of life with, with Gaia, with your mother, is so much more fun. <laughs> so join me. I will be teaching Planetary Chantra. Of course, you know, John Land Lash, he's the living legend. In my mind, he's a legend in his own time. And it's uh, links below. But otherwise... Um, what we're going to do is I'm going to continue teaching online just like this. I'm doing it um, 
non-monetized, so you are commercial free. So I do accept all any donations, and I haven't figured out how to do that yet. But just so if you subscribe to my channel, you'll com continue to be able to receive information. So the Shakti cluster features in in a row connectivity. It connects you to everybody who ever used it through all time. <laughs> It's an earthing device. It connects you to the telluric field. It's like putting your bare feet on the earth. And in fact, if you use it outside, it's even more potent. But it doesn't have to be. I, I've tested it out. Number three, it's interactive. It will show you how to use it. Just be aware. Number four, it combines the deserveristic and the liberation powers of the supernatural. Desire in the consciousness that you can command. I know it's a long feature, but you don't want to use supplication. You're not asking. You're not praying. You're commanding. Command, you know, C, colon, forward slash, whatever it was back in the day. Think of the Devadas as witches who grant wishes. They're witches who grant witches, baby. Witches that grant witches. Well, I'm a witch. I can't grant you any wishes unless you're my lover. <laughs> and if you wish for something that's within my realm, I'll deliver. Okay, number five, the device is wired to the lunar cycles, the natural flow of time. And number six, it amplifies perception abilities and all the other ones and gives you diamond clarity because of the five points on the floret are actually the Chintamani jewel, the wish fulfilling gem. Oh, Mani Padme Om. The jewel is in the lotus. She's given this. Look, my children, see that oh, I have designed for you. Your senses can be amplified naturally using this app. <sighs> Number seven, it activates paranormal faculties. And then it helps you with your recognition and pre, pro, pre, pro, proprioception. Proprioception. The shape has a subliminal impact on you that creates a harmonic resonance, a favorable one to the neurons. And number nine, the novelty is that the Shakti cluster, the design runs, the field it displays. So, what's going on now is that it came with the terma, and it's in correction now. We are in correction now. Sophia Gaia Sophia is now aware that we are aware of her because of the Shakti Cluster app. Because John received it. And now the more and more people actually like, woo, 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 go here and enjoy this. The more she's like, yeah, baby, yeah, baby. <laughs> We're all like, yeah, baby. it. So let's game on, party on. We're in correction. All right, let's have some fun together. <laughs>